Now, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Another daily Swiss 001 video. Yeah, welcome back to the flight simulator. Today, we've got a very interesting plane in front of us, and that is the Airbus Beluga, also called by most people one of the ugliest planes that there are, which kind of makes sense. <laughs> Not really, this plane is very interesting. There's actually a brand new add on for the X plane flight simulator right now. Here, as you can see, this is a very realistic one. All the buttons basically work just like they do in real life. So we have a perfect representation of the good old Airbus Beluga, indeed. Uh, a very interesting cargo plane. Basically, to describe the design of this plane, it's, it's an Airbus A300 on steroids. Is that all we need? <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty much all we need, right? I mean, you can see this is a pretty classic Airbus cockpit. Without a side stick or anything, this still has a yoke. Again, something you cannot find on any modern Airbus. Now, even though we're on the runway already, um, we don't want to take off just yet. Let's go ahead and check out one of the most interesting features that this plane can do. That is ground operations. Can I open the door? And of course, I'm talking about the main cargo door. Can I open it with this screen here, with this iPad? Yes, I can. Wait, it's actually open. Opening. All right, this is now the magic trick because it's after all of course as is, 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 is a cargo plane Don't be stupid and of course it needs a huge door for this huge cargo space that it has Yeah, this plane is basically built for you know carrying airplane parts for example I think even here in the flight simulator we can load an a380 tail into the thing I don't know how that's gonna work actually in fact. Oh wait, this is the uh, button to press there we go Yeah, <laughs> well, this is actually a very interesting simulation right now Yeah, this is really an a380 tail and I just want to describe the situation we're right now at St. Bartholomew Airport, a 600 meter long runway, and we're just standing on it. And an A380 tail is indeed loading right now. This is, of course, a very slow process because it's, of course, a very delicate one as well. Now, here we can really take a look at the design here. The cockpit is very much low. You know, it even goes down like this, which uh, makes the plane look even more ugly than it already does. But that's obviously because, you know, you want as much space as possible up top. And we can hear a sound. Sounds like the microwave that you can find at McDonald's. <laughs> This is very much detail. We can see how the pilots normally enter. Obviously, they, they won't enter through this door, right? I just want to see, how is the A380 tail loaded now? Now, to give you some general information, this is a 60 euro add-on here to buy for the Flight Simulator X plane again. I'm right now probably demonstrating that it's probably worth it. Oh, damn. That's cool. But actually, I just wanted to disclaim as well, this is not sponsored at all in any ways. I, I even bought the add-on myself, everything, as always. So, let's just see how this A380 tail is being loaded. And actually, this tail is... Of course, larger than the A300 tail that we have on board. What if I release the parking brake right now and just roll into the whole thing? Wait, I've, I've actually released the parking brake. Wait, no, that's not smart. That's not smart. <laughs> the plane was actually just moving a second ago. Alright, this weird birch thing is now linked to the actual aircraft. By the way, it's been like 10 minutes. <laughs> yes! Oh, and it's happening. Happen, it's happening, guys. A380 tail coming in. PC12 is watching closely. Barely fits the <laughs> Damn. Alright, there we go. A380 tail is in. That's now actually good to go and take off. Come on. Remove the loader and everything. And let's also close that door. Now, I just wanted to mention again, this A380 tail will not survive this video. And so won't the plane. But that's another story. <laughs> Alright, bye-bye. Let's go and actually just start up this plane. Of course, we're going to use the whole checklist and everything. This is going to be very professional. Turn... Panel states, ready for takeoff. <laughs> all right, engine started up. That took a long while, you know, all these checklists following them, making this uh, professional flight and everything. Let's go ahead and push back and uh, try to get this plane off the ground because <laughs> this is not gonna work, is it? All right, and we're using reverse thrust to just, again, push back that runway. All right, again, we're using reverse thrust to just go ahead and push back a little bit so that we can use the whole runway here because we'll need it, 600 meter, uh, yeah. <clears throat> right, pushing back a little much. Every meter counts. Okay, this plane is definitely broken now. Oh, all right, let's go ahead and do a static takeoff, which means we're gonna put the engines to full throttle. What is the plane complaining about? Yeah, parking brake. I'm putting on the parking brake right now, putting the engines to full power, Toga takeoff, and now releasing the parking brake after they're at full power. This will give us the best takeoff performance. Now, while we're rolling, we're gonna go ahead and pull some flaps as well. More flaps looking good. 100 knots. Actually, this is looking pretty good. Wait, no, wait. Oh. Airbus Beluga with an A380 tail loaded has taken off out of St. Bartholomew. And this is a little stupid. Our engines. Engines have died. All right, that's not gone very well, but the takeoff worked. I think I overstressed the engines. Was that the thing? <laughs> nah, no way. Nah, that was totally fine. 
and the flight simulator has actually crashed because our plane crashed. But so, hmm, maybe the Airbus Beluga doesn't have that bad of a runway performance as I thought initially, because I mean, it is a big plane, very heavy plane, cargo plane. So, um, why isn't sound working, by the way? I don't, I don't, I don't know how to sound. Do you hear sound? I don't think there's sound. Yeah, plane is broken again. What the hell? All right, whatever. Let's just go ahead and get this plane landed on this runway here, La Mole Airport, the airport that we are pretty much always flying to. And now we've got sound. That's great. Actually, we've got a lot of sound. Oh, no. Yeah, La Mole Airport, 1,200 meter long runway. Let's uh, really try this now. Actually, it, this shouldn't be that much of an issue, judging by the St. Bartholomew performance. All right, acceptable landing right here, wasn't it? And let's go ahead and stop, which actually goes very fast. If you put this plane to full power stopping performance, this is really not bad. Damn, all right, let's check out this landing in the replay mode, which we have here because we're not in Microsoft Flight Simulator. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Coming down a little bit late on the touchdown, but overall good landing and especially good stop. So I'm looking forward to flying this plane to some shorter runways as well, of course. <clears throat> okay, then uh, time for a bigger challenge for this Airbus Beluga plane. Now we're approaching a 1000 meter long runway, which is uh, this German island called Borkum, which I've already flown a real plane to. Cirrus, yeah. Okay, it's coming in nicely or something. Is this gonna work? I'm not quite sure. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's not even a thousand meter in this runway. It's 996 meters. So, yeah. All right, pretty smooth landing. I think we touched down before the runway actually started though. Oh, I did something wrong. I messed this up. Yeah, I messed it up with the reverse thrust, but no problem for the Airbus Beluga. See, I actually went full power on that, on that landing right there because I didn't pull the reverse thrust properly. But as you can see, this still worked. No worries. Okay, touched down a little bit in the grass, but you know, that's... No problem. Then I went full power, as you can see on the engines, but <laughs> no worries. <laughs> wow. All right, now we'll come back to St. Bartholomew. Yeah, I mean, I mean, the takeoff worked. Not quite sure about the landing. All right, touching down on the beach already. Yeah, this has been <laughs> the worst landing of today. Damn. But let's see if we can stop. Probably going to be possible, right? And here we go. C quite crazy. Damn. We didn't even need to touch on, on that sand right there. We could have just used the normal runway. Oh, damn. Okay, plane has to go through maintenance. But other than that, it's totally fine. This plane has crazy uh, runway performance. It's definitely Swiss 001 approved. Even though, again, the tail of the A380 did not survive this video. So, yeah, guys. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Only 60% of my viewers are subscribed. So, remember to subscribe. And I'll see you guys guys tomorrow in another video as always good night now thank you to all my members here on youtube like mubarak a block moritz deload um toby cook of course great grandpa john mark leo uh, philip no you larry finn m uh, thomas riley preston government pasta will philip is can v Kelly, Maddie, airlines opalax cherry and kelly chaos thank you so much